Hello and welcome back to Scriptcase by Jamie, this channel for you so you can learn more about Scriptcase and other things. At the moment, I know I'm still stuck on Scriptcase, but there is a lot to learn. And of course, there are many other topics I will be touching base on at least. So today we are coming back to another template video. And in this video, I'm going to show you another amazing template that is available here within the Scriptcase development environment that you can reuse applications from and learn from. And of course, implement, reuse, import, redistribute, however you please, within any of your projects using the script case development environment. Okay, so let me come here then. We have here our system templates, and we're going to look here at the web service. And if you do not know what a web service is, well, a web service uses communications, basically, online, on the web for you talking with other services. Well, that is the idea of it anyway, that you are able to establish communication with other resources that are available online, i.e. PayPal, for instance, Shopify, if you wanted to, APIs, things like that. Now, within this template, you can learn a great deal about creating such systems. So that is why we are having a look at it today. And I do think that the majority of people that, that check out Scriptcase, they don't really create any of the templates. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Comment. Do be sure to comment and let me know if you have generated all of the Scriptcase templates. If you have done that, go on. Comment below. Let me know that you have generated every single one of those script case templates before watching this video okay that is important don't go and cheat now okay so let's dive back in we can now generate our source code within script case here so let's generate the source code the project is now created and our script case now needs to generate each of those applications that it has created and we can see there we have 15 applications to check out so let's go ahead and click here the run button and we have here the web service. So this has changed slightly since I saw it. I'm sure it had a different image there before and a different icon up here. And it's still saying 1.0, but okay, so it is. So we have here menu functions. So let's check that out. So we have here a previous menu, curl option. So we can see here the calculate freight, PayPal balance, PayPal transaction details, as well as pay with PayPal. So we have various connection options here using curl and for calculating the freight as well as PayPal connections for balance checking, transaction details, as well as making payments. So each of these, as you can see within this application, well, you can see the interface. Great. That's not really good for you, is it? Is it? Maybe it is, but of course your users will be using it. But at the same time, you will want to be developing something similar along this. I'm saying similar because you won't want any of this there, will you? Okay, so let's continue looking for now anyway. And then we can start having a look at these available applications and where you can find some of this delicious code that you can reuse throughout your script case development, your applications, maybe even elsewhere who knows okay so for file get contents we also have here the qr code how to create a qr code so we can generate a qr code here which is very nice and we have here the rss news application and we're getting some rss news there and we can display that here within a blank application we also have soap now notice that it is also the calculate freight which we have here also for curl. And that is then, of course, two different options to actually get that. And we can click here the calculate freight, and that should then come back here and give us then a total, how many days does it take, and then the total cost of that. 
Now you have a lot of information here to go through. You have a tutorial there also on some of these. So do check those out. They will help you a great deal. Now we then also have then there the, the bootstrap login, which just died on me there, of course, because it opens up a whole new page. So let's come back here many functions it was and then we have here the login post and login jquery and it's not letting me open it now because it's forcing me to go to that page okay so we can reuse those within our application so i'll just keep coming back here and running that and then we have here the freight the soap and all of these other options pretty much the same as we had here within the menu functions available to us okay so now that we've pretty much seen that Let's dive into some of these applications because we have here some code, <laughs> some code. We have here a lot of code for sure. Okay, so Kariash, which is post. So let's go ahead and open that one. This was for form orders and curl. And if I come here to the events, we have on application in it. So here I am echoing here the background color, okay, for a div element. We have then also the on load. Here I am providing some information for those fields, for the origin and destination, as well as the price. So if I go ahead and run that, those fields are then automatically being added so that when we come here and click to calculate the fee, of course it's gone to Portuguese now, it then has these values here. Otherwise, there in general would be no values here, okay? Because you need to add them. You need to update these applications. And if I come here down, not application, but I want programming. We have here in the PHP methods, get fretter. And this is the method that is used in here. And this then connects to an online service and then receives the price as well as the estimation of how many days it takes. Now it is in Spanish, but really these are just variables and these we would have to actually receive again from a new provider, of course. But this is a very nice example here of how to use the PHP macros SC web service. Okay, so this is an SC web service macro that is available within Scriptcase and it simplifies this curl connection. Okay, because if we compare this to typical PHP, well, there is a difference, okay, a big difference. So we can just use this macro and it simplifies it for us. And there we can then do some error checking and so forth and customize what is returned to us. And here, of course, we can check this and learn from that. So do check that and you will then figure out for sure what it's all about. Now we have then also the PayPal applications and here we have then also the PayPal balance. Again, this is using events within this application. We have on application in it, on load, again, providing those default values. So really this application just goes ahead and checks those values automatically with your API details that we have there. So we'll come here to, for instance, the button payments and we can check here. Let's have a look in programming. And there's no methods in here, so it's probably all in the events here on load. And here we have then the payment code for PayPal. And of course, we can copy, reuse that, and of course, learn from that within our own applications. So what else do we have here? We have the PayPal, the post, the bootstrap forms we have here, how we create those in blank applications as well. So this is actually using a blank application instead of a control form, which is where we would generally create that. And here is then a custom login page that you can then, of course, reuse within your own projects. We have then also here the information on WSDL. And again, that is an the connection type soap and you can again check here within the events for that so let's look here on load we have some default data there on application in it we're just checking the thing there we're not anything else in here but here the php method so that is then run here on a button 
the button calc freight and that is then calling that which is pretty much what's happening in the other control form we saw a few moments well the form sorry that we saw a few moments ago so even there there were no events or anything it was then the action on the button and then the button calls here the function or the method should i say and that then is then loaded and displays you then the order details or performs that payment or whatever else is required from that specific button you have created within the application okay so we have here a server folder also and here we have the qr code as well as a user application and here you are able again to replicate this code and copy that and reuse it within your own applications now here there are no methods but you can check here in the internal libraries also and there are no internal libraries available for this template so this is one of those templates that has no internal libraries many of the others do so you do want to be aware of that and check those because that is where you will find the juicy code that you are wanting to copy or learn from probably so that is it for the web service template and you can of course go ahead and set that up within your own script case environment and reuse that. Now anytime if you have not purchased your license yet you can reach out to me I will be happy to help you with that. I am an official reseller and I'll be happy to of course provide you some personal support during those initial stages of getting started and of course help you further during the lifetime journey hopefully of Scriptcase. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you are enjoying the content. And of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. And there is also a membership on my website. Check it out if you're interested. There is a ton of content there for you to learn from, discounts, tips and much, much more. Oh, and don't forget, of course, join my social channels. I'm also on LinkedIn and Instagram. I have a Facebook page. It seems that nobody's really interested in Facebook anymore. Hooray. But that's the way that goes. So maybe at some point I will be dropping Facebook. So let's see. Maybe we get some interest there. And if you are using Facebook, go ahead and join me. Otherwise, maybe that one will be dying soon. So thank you very much for watching and again until next time.